I'm Luke Dominish, one of the lawyers in the Litigation and Dispute Resolution Group here at McCabe Kerwood. Employees and directors of businesses are often exposed to confidential information that could, if used for the wrong purposes, cause significant damage to their employer company. All too often, businesses are faced with the challenge of employees taking confidential information and moving to a competitor. Those employers will be relieved to hear that recently the High Court delivered a stern warning to competing companies that are knowingly involved in the breaches of former employer employees. The case concerned two former employees of a company called LifePlan, which provided services for the making of payments towards pre-arranged funerals. LifePlan was highly profitable in this market. Back in 2010, the two employees approached a competitor of LifePlan, Foresters, with a proposal. They would use LifePlan's business records and confidential information to divert business to Foresters. At the time, Foresters had a significantly smaller portion of the market and was unprofitable. Whilst employed by LifePlan, the employees established their own separate marketing company, Funeral Planning Australia. They then developed a plan for targeting LifePlan's funeral director clients using a significant amount of LifePlan's confidential information. The plan was highly successful, and in the two years that followed, Forrester's inflows increased by over $20 million and LifePlan's fell at an almost identical rate. At first instance, the Federal Court of Australia found that the employees had breached their obligations of confidence and their fiduciary duties of loyalty to LifePlan, and that Forrester's had knowingly participated in these breaches. But the court refused to order that Foresters had to account for any of its profits to LifePlan. The primary judge's reasoning was that there was a lack of causation. That is, whilst the employees breached their duties whilst they're employees of LifePlan, their actions, and accordingly the profits generated, could have just as easily have been done after they have left LifePlan with the same result. LifePlan appealed this decision to the full court of the federal court, which agreed that the approach to causation was far too narrow and held that without the employee's breach of their duties, of which Foresters was knowingly involved, Foresters would not have been able to make the profits it did. On the question of the amount of profits that Foresters should account for, the full court held that it was the net present value of the profits of the company, plus anticipated profits for the next few years, with a total of $6.5 million. Foresters appealed this decision to the High Court, seeking to argue that it was too high. LifePlan also cross-appealed, seeking to argue that it was too low. The High Court agreed with Life Plan, allowing the cross appeal and dismissing Forrester's appeal. The court shut down Forrester's argument that the account of profits should only be ordered against them when they were directly involved. The majority of the court emphasised their power to order an account of profits as a part of a deterrent effect. They stated that the test for causation was a holistic one and one that should look at the overall effect of the wrongdoing. Importantly, a defendant cannot avoid liability by stating that the profit could have been made honestly. Their involvement in the dishonest acts are enough. Once the question of causation was satisfied, the court considered the quantum of which foresters should account for. Foresters had to establish that there should be an allowance for labour and skill, or that it was inequitable to make them account for the full business. Foresters couldn't establish either. That is, foresters knowingly participated in the breaches of the former employees, and they obtained a full business as a result. Accordingly, Forrester's had to account for the full value of the business that it obtained, being nearly $15 million. This is a positive result for business owners seeking to protect their confidential information against the actions of both former employees and the competition who may be knowingly seeking to assist those former employees from breaching their duties. McCabe Kerwood has experience in assisting businesses in protecting their confidential information and intellectual property and enforcing their rights when a breach has occurred. Time is often of the essence in these kind of disputes. If you suspect that a breach is occurring, get in contact with us today.